So finally, after more than 20 years, we have finally gotten a true sequel to the Crash series after getting the remakes of the first three games and the racing game, and all of them were huge successes. And funnily enough, Crash is now apparently considered a Souls-like game. But regardless of the term itself, Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time does not make it easy to complete the game 100%. If you thought getting the Platinum Relics in Crash 1 were a nightmare, then <laughs> be prepared for an even bigger nightmare with much more stuff to do. I am Sanadis K, and in this video I will be presenting to you a straightforward methodology or framework on how to progress through the game if you are aiming to complete it 100% and basically what to expect if you are aiming to get all of the trophies and nail that platinum trophy or achievement. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let us begin. So to get the full completion and the platinum trophy which is 106% completion there is lots of stuff you have to do. Flashback levels, platinum relics, perfect relics, colored gems, inverted levels, so many complicated stuff, which is why I made this guide to simplify all of this for you guys as some sort of a roadmap. So, first thing, just play through the game and finish it until the very end. It's going to be tempting to try the time trials and challenges from the start, but you are going to go back to each level multiple times later on and repeat them dozens of times to exactly remember them. And some of them you can't even finish properly now, so make use of your first playthrough to understand how the different abilities work, make yourself familiar with the controls and the mechanics of the game, and along the way, make sure you collect the four colored gems. They are in four different locations, and I will place their locations down in the description. They're very straightforward to find, you just have to like solve a small puzzle in most of them, so make sure you note them down when you finish watching this video. When you finish your first playthrough, you will unlock a skill called Triple Spin, which is, you can say, mandatory for the time trials as it gives you a huge speed boost when using it. Second, now is where the grind begins. You are going to start from the very first level and you will have to achieve three things in each attempt in each level. The first attempt, you have to destroy all crates and collect 80% of the Wampa Fruits without dying and find the Hidden Gem. Just as a note, dying in the special levels which you teleport to on the question mark platform do not count as deaths, so don't worry if you die inside them. The most important thing is that you see the life's counter on your on the top right corner, that's still zero. That's the most important part. This will allow you to gain the insane perfect relic. Also, since this is a no death run, make sure to collect the flashback tape in the levels that have it, which you can see in the level stats section of the game, which we'll, I'll be talking about later on. Now, when you achieve this, the second attempt will be the relics of the time trials of the level. This is one of the most tedious tasks in the game, as you have to be as fast as possible to get the fastest required time, you don't even have time to die and respawn, so you will need to be very perfect in your attempt. This will be very, very frustrating in some levels where there are tough platforming sections at the very end of the level, which can be super provoking if you die at the very end. Also, make sure you use the triple spin ability you unlock to cut through the levels faster. Now, just to clarify, until this very moment of this video uploaded, we are still not sure if we are required to get the Platinum Relics or the much, much more difficult Purple Developer Relics. But as soon as this is confirmed, you will find the answer at the top of the description. But the concept is the same. You have to perfectly memorize the level and finish it in the fastest way possible. You might need to see some online guides for specific levels and shortcuts, and this will be where you spend most of your time as you will try to literally get every jump perfectly without a single mistake. Now, once you are done with the trial, you'll have to do a third attempt, which you'll need to do the same as the first attempt, but in the inverse mode. You have to destroy all the crates and collect 80% of the fruits, find the hidden gem, but this time you are allowed to die three times, so it's a little bit better. The concept of the inverse mode is that the level is flipped horizontally, and there is a unique filter applied for each map. It's not that particularly hard, just try to be careful as much as you can, and be as patient as you can, because there is no timer or anything here, so that's a good thing. Now, after you have finished all of these for all of the levels, it's time to hit those flashback tapes. These levels focus on that you have to destroy all of the crates. They involve different platforming puzzles and techniques, so my advice to you is to try to first identify the proper way to jump between the crates, whether by trying it out yourself or by seeing a video, but you need to be very careful with these. Thankfully, there are checkpoints, so it's not all that bad, but they're still a bit tedious. 
Now, if you have reached this point in the game, then you're pretty much left with cleaning up some of the miscellaneous trophies here and there, like hitting specific objects in a level and stuff. Now, if you ask me how difficult this Platinum is compared to the other Crash games, I think it's honestly more difficult than the first Crash game, which was not an easy task to get the Platinum in. It's because the levels in this game are relatively long and there are 43 levels if you include the boss fights, and you will have to repeat the levels multiple, numerous times to get the time trials and gems correctly. It's definitely not an easy task and whoever is dedicated enough to get the Platinum Trophy is a very skilled player indeed. So, I hope you guys found this guide useful, I did not get into the details of the trophies themselves, but I just wanted to give you a framework and a general idea of what to expect when you want to Platinum this game. Also, I have started a new series on my channel where I showcase classic games using 4K graphics and ray tracing, and I started with the Legacy of Kane series, and I already uploaded a video about Legacy of Kane Defiance, and it's become a completely different game. So, if you can go check out that video, you will not regret it. So, I guess I'll be seeing you later. Bye-bye.